boys and girls, this is Mr. Butch, and it's crafting day. What we're going to make today are called God's Eye. Here's an example of one that I have made. And look, I used twigs and dyed them together into a plus sign. And then I made the God's eye. Then I added a little bling by adding the pink jewel to it. Here's one I made using popsicle sticks. And I happened to have some red sequins, so I put some sequins on it. And also I had a bone bead that I had purchased for my mother to make some necklaces and things. And so I took that and I put it in the middle. So here's an, another example of a God's eye. So you can take twigs, you can take popsicle sticks, tongue depressors. What I have here that I'm going to show you how to do it with, these are shish kebab skewers, or skewers that you would use on the grill. I think they're made out of bamboo. And what I've done is I have taken some thread and tied it together loosely. And then we will start by choosing what colors. This particular yarn already had the different colors mixed in with it. This yarn actually had three threads in it of different colors. That's what gives it its particular look. Well, I've decided that we're going to do blue and white, and we're going to throw some sparkly red yarn in too. So when I come back, we're going to get started. All right, you've noticed I've zoomed in. You can't see my face. But I have got the piece here. And then I have to decide if I'm going to go blue and then white and put the funky red on the outside, or if I want to start with the red in the middle. Or I might put some in the middle and on the end. Hmm. When we come back, after Mr. Butch gets the scissors he forgot, we'll get started. Let's start with the blue. All right. Our first step is we tie our yarn to the middle of our plus. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start wrapping under and over, 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 under and over under and over, under and over, until we get as much as we want of this particular color. You can see the beginning of the diamond forming. When I get ready for my next color, I'll be back. All right, that's how far I've gotten with the blue. Now I'm going to change to white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue and cut it. Then I'm going to find the end of my white, which is right here. 
and I'm going to tie it to the blue. Like so. Then I'm going to trim my ends. And then we're going to keep going. Under, over, clockwise, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And you can already see how I now have my white going around it. I'll be back when we're ready to add our last color. White. I've got all the white that I want on here, and you can see now what it looks like. I'm now going to add my red. I've already tied it on, and when we come back, you will see our almost finished product. Here is what it looks like. Now I'm going to turn it around and take the extra piece that I have right here and I'm going to take it and I am going to put it right up here at the top and tie it. Now, what I would probably do is I would probably cut the rest of these wood, this wood off, but not too close. Or I would take a marker and color them. And then you can take another piece of yarn. and tie it to make a hanger. So you can hang it from your rear view mirror, you can hang it from your Christmas tree, you can hang it from whatever you want to hang it from. Okay, I have tied it there, and now I'm gonna tie it here to make a loop. And we are now finished with our star. Excuse me, our God's eye. I guess I was thinking stars because I did red, white, and the blue. So, bye-bye until next time. Make yourself a God's eye. Bye, boys and girls.